Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Chaplain Diane Carryhill, for those of you who may be stopping by for the very first time. And I am delighted that you have chosen today to take this journey with me as we walk through the Bible, revealing the love stories from the Bible. I remember as a kid playing a game that I call the Daisy Love Game. The object of this game is to pull off petals of the daisy one by one, reciting, he loves me, he loves me not, or she loves me, she loves me not. Whichever line you are on when you pull off the last petal of the flower is supposed to be the way either he or she loves me or loves me not. I also remember not liking this game very much because it left too much to chance. It was like gambling for the prize of someone's affection towards you. Kind of like the ambiguous rules of fortune telling. The outcome of the game may or may not rule in my favor. I felt like it was superstitious and it was not a sure thing. The musical artist Stevie Wonder sings a song, Superstition, in which there is a line where he says, superstition ain't the way. If we are disloyal to the truth of God's word, we may be tempted to play this daisy love game. What I mean by that is, if we do everything good and right, we please God and he loves me. If I do anything wrong that displeases God, he loves me not. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Bible records in Isaiah 64 and 6, and this is the amplified version, but I'm going to paraphrase. Each of us has become like something unclean because we are infected by sin and all of our righteous acts, actions, and deeds are like filthy rags. We are like polluted garments. Like a withered leaf, sin carries us away like the wind. Today's love story is found in Romans, the eighth chapter, verses 28 through 39. Romans eight begins with no condemnation and it ends with no separation from the love of God. There's no defeat in those who walk not in the natural sin nature of the flesh, but who walk in the renewed nature of God's spirit. No matter how defeated, disappointed, broken, busted, disgusted, or weak we may feel, nothing can separate us from the love of God. However, sin can and will separate us from a right relationship with God, but nothing can separate us from the love of God. The truth found in the sacred scripts of Romans 8 God is always present and willing to help in our time of need. All things work together for good to those who love God. Only God has the power to bring good out of a bad, painful, broken, and broken-hearted situation. Only a powerful God can turn a Friday's crucifixion into a Sunday's resurrection. Jesus wants you and me to be confident in the facts of truth. We are purposed, known, predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, Christ Jesus. And Jesus wants to see his reflection in and through our lives. God wants us to believe that who he has predestined, he has called. And who he has called, he has justified. And who he justifies, he glorifies. God did not even spare the life of his only begotten son, but handed him over to the death of the cross. And Jesus willingly and obediently gave his life to save a fallen, sin-sick world because of his love. 
who has the power or the audacity to bring any accusations of condemnation against us. Since Christ died for the people he has elected for himself. So since, not if, but since God is for us, it does not matter who or what is against us. Nothing can separate us from his love, not trouble, distress, persecution, anguish, not famine, not nakedness, no angels, no demons, not our present fears or our future worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from the love of God. We are more than conquerors through Jesus who loves us. Now that's some loyal love. I no longer wonder or have to play the guessing game that God loves me because I am fully persuaded I hope you will take a journey through Romans the 8th chapter and hear what the love of God has to say to you. Until then, the next time, I wish you peace, joy, and